Okay, so we are back with uh, another science paper one, which is physics, division. Remember that we've been dealing with section B. So let's see how many questions we can answer for today. So we ended we ended here on B two. We are now going to B three, which says a crane lifts blocks through a vertical height twenty four meters with a force of 5,000 newtons at a constant speed of 6 meters per second. It takes 4 seconds to reach the top of the building. How much work is done in getting the blocks to the top of the building? Hmm. Well, what is work? Work done. Uh, let me change the color. Work done. Okay. Is equal to the force multiplied by the distance. In this case, our force is given 5,000 newtons. The distance is 24 meters. Small letter M, by the way. So give us 120,000 joules. You come here, you report. 120 thousand joules you get your two marks what the potential energy gained by the blocks remember that this is a height okay the height is 24 meters and the potential energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its position because it is due to its position meaning the entire work done is just equal to the potential energy even here, the potential energy is 120,000. Calculate the power developed by the blocks. Well, what is power? Power is work done divided by time taken in doing work. Therefore, the work done is 120,000 joules. The time has been given to be 4 seconds. Well, speed is not doing anything here. But we can use it to find power. 4 seconds. Which gives us 30,000 watts. Or power is equal to force multiplied by speed. Our force was 5,000, our speed was 6, which will still give us 30,000 watts. So either way, whichever you are comfortable with. How many minutes have I taken answering this question? That is like closer to 3 seconds, 3 minutes, you see? Let's go to the graphical question, question number B4. Figure B4.1, it shows a graph of solid pure substance changing its state of matter after it is being heated the key word here is being heated meaning it's melting so melting changing its state from there meaning from solid liquid to gas look at the diagram properly okay so we have the temperature starting from 0 10 20 30 and then we've got time here in the uh, horizontal axis we've got letters a b c d up to f Question 1 says, what was the boiling point of the substance? Now, the boiling point is a temperature at which a substance changes its state from liquid to gas. That's boiling point. So, all what we need to know is that since this is a solid, right? So, in this region here, it is solid. Solid plus liquid. It is liquid. Here it is liquid plus gas. And here it's gas. So, we are looking at a level where it is changing from liquid to gas here so we'll go to the temperature there 40 degrees celsius so we write 40 degrees celsius at which temperature will the substance exist as both liquid and gas again it's the same temperature here liquid and gas 40 
state one difference between boiling and evaporation? Well, they all look the same because they involve the converting the, the, the change of state of a liquid to gas. Now, what's the difference between these two? Well, boiling, boiling takes place throughout the liquid. Remember that the entire liquid is boiled. But evaporation takes place on the surface of the liquid. So, boiling takes place throughout throughout the liquid while evaporation uh, takes place on the surface of the liquid. This is just one of the differences that you can uh, mention between uh, boiling and uh, evaporation. There are quite a lot. Well, even when 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 you when you look, when you look at boiling, boiling has got a temperature called a called the boiling point, meaning it takes place at a certain specific temperature. Uh, evaporation it can take at any temperature. It can take place at any temperature. Evaporation. On the other hand, uh, like I said, look them up. I'll give you a note to there now. What happens to the heat supplied at points where there is no increase in temperature? What, what happens to the heat supplied at points? These points can be melting point or boiling points where there is no increase in temperature. Now, the heat that is supplied at those points, all right? Let's say there's a, a solid here changing to what? To, to liquid, right? When you supply heat to this solid, all what you are doing is that you are trying to uh, to break down or to to loosen the intermolecular forces, so that uh, once the intermolecular forces are weakened, there's that change of state. Are we there? So heat supplied, it's just there to weaken the forces of attraction. It is used weaken the forces of attraction or you can say intermolecular forces of attraction uh, that hold the molecules uh, together which can be a solid state or the liquid state. You are done. Should you progress to B B5? Well, let's go. I think this will be the last one. Figure B5.1 shows a wave with a frequency of 40 Hz. So the frequency is a 40 Hz. Please take note. Here you've got displacement. Here you've got distance. These two are two different because displacement is a vector quantity and distance is a scalar quantity. Take note of that. That's a difference. Define amplitude. Define amplitude, the maximum displacement of the particle of the wave from the rest position. That's all. This is the maximum displacement of a wave particle, not just a wave, but a wave particle. Okay? Of the wave now uh, from the rest position. Calculate the speed of the wave. Well, how do you find the speed? Recall that speed is given by frequency multiplied by what? Lambda. You know that one, right? Now here, what is our frequency? 40 Hz. Alright. What is our... Lambda is wavelength. It's been given... Wavelength has been given 1.5. Why is it 1.5? Well, look, it is this. Up to there. Just there. This is a complete wave. Why? Because there's this upper part, then this part here, plus this upper part, which is also making another trough to make a wave. That's all. Let's multiply, please. I'm getting 60 meters per second. So you come here, you report 60 meters per second. Some of you, even units, stay. you are gone. You have a problem with that. 
find the period of the wave well period is 1 over frequency this one i know 1 over 40 Here's this one was a, actually very simple let's divide together all right so i'm getting 0 0.025 seconds so you come here you write 0 0.025 seconds all right so thank you so much in our next part four we are going to start from b6 all the way so don't forget to subscribe and follow for more remember you can also enroll for online classes very affordable uh very effective you can be one of the people to enjoy